This is a review on the Caramore Men's Hiking Boots. What I'd like to go over today is a brief description of these boots and what I like to wear them for. So I had to replace my boots recently within the past week due to them being completely falling apart. I used to have a pair of Under Armour boots and they have held together well for a good amount of time but they did fall apart pretty quickly at the end of their lifespan. So when I was looking at reviews of boots again, I was going to get another pair of the Under Armour boots, however, it seems like the quality of them have gone quite downhill due to the reviews that I looked at, I was quite shocked and horrified at what I saw. So I decided to try a different boot, and I needed to get something that was affordable for me at this time, so something that was 100 bucks. And what I was able to find were these pair of Caramore boots. But what I was having trouble was finding any decent reviews on them, or reviews at all. Nothing really popped up, only a couple sites, and it was either a 50-50 draw. But when I went to the Amazon UK site, there seemed to be a lot more reviews on them with some photos. And I think the reviews of these are pretty 50-50, so it makes them an average 3-star rating. So it seems with the ratings of these boots particularly is that they seem to fall apart pretty quickly uh, from what some people were saying. And according to others, that didn't happen for them. So it was a catch-22 dilemma if I should try them or not, but since the reviews seemed to be inconclusive for me, I decided to give them a go. Not just because, you know, I got them for $102 and a few cents, but because when I put them on, they were so very comfortable as soon as I slid into them. I was very surprised and quite pleased with the way that they felt. So it kind of really lifted my spirits up from the other boots I was trying on because I was trying other brands that definitely weren't good for me and I they had a strong contender. I was going to get a pair of Solomons that were 165 out of my budget range, but I was just going to go for it. However, my problem with Solomons is that they always run very narrow and my feet aren't narrow. They're a little wide and Apparently Solomon makes wider versions of their footwear now, but they didn't have any of the size that I have in stock, so um, I lucked out on those, but that's better for my wallet, uh, so I got these. Probably not the most supportive thing to say about these pair of boots, but I'm just being honest. Anyway, as soon as I put them on, I pretty much wore them out of the store, and I took my old beat-up Under Armour boots, and I threw them in the back of my truck. It's always good to have an emergency pair of footwear, even if they are falling apart, at least I have something. I have my old pair of Solomons back there that are narrow that I had for a previous job uh, that are very uncomfortable, but for emergency situations I figured, why not? So now I have a two pair of emergency situation uh, footwear in my vehicle. Anyway, since these are English shoes, uh, they are European sized, and my foot range is all over the place depending on what kind of footwear I'm getting. Now I'm a boot person, I wear boots, and that's what I like to wear. So these are very lightweight and that's what I need. I need it to be a casual boot for anything that I need to use it for. So it's pretty much like my all season boots, kind of like all season tires, but for my feet instead of my car. <laughs> well my truck. Well it's basically I have a truck. But that's not important. What's important are these boots and the review I'm giving them. And so Yes, I do wear men's boots, and this is why. I tend to have better luck on getting the size that I need in men's. Uh, usually I'm about a size 10, uh, but depending on what I'm wearing, it can range from a size 9 to a size 10. So I always have to try things on before I buy anything for my feet. And I usually don't buy that much for my feet uh, because I get stuff that lasts. And I'm hoping that's what I'm going to get with these boots. So these are actually a size 10 and a half. My Under Armour boots were a size 9 and a half. So I kind of figured my boot size for hiking boots and tactical boots would be the same, which typically seems to be a 9 and a half. So these Caramel boots I got are a 10 and a half. Uh, the size 10 was a little, it was a bit too snug on my feet. So the size 10 was perfect. It wasn't narrow, it wasn't tight. It's was very perfect. It's like I'm not even wearing a pair of boots. So if you're going to get these boots and you're interested in them, 
get one size larger than you would usually wear because European sizes are usually smaller than the state size boots or footwear in general. I like to say boots, so I'm saying that a lot in this video. It's not intentional, it just seems to come out of my laugh. Whenever I can say boots, I'm gonna say boots. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be annoying. But anyway, look at these boots. They're really nice too. Uh, I really don't go to, to be a stylish kind of person. I just like to dress casual, and casual for me is just things that are comfortable, and I don't like to wear color. I usually just wear black, and if it has a little bit of color, that's cool. And as these caramel boots uh, have a little bit of color on them, and they're nice red. I like red and dark colors and cool colors and darker warm colors, you could say. And that's another reason why I like to wear men's footwear, because they come in better color choices than females' footwear. Sorry, women's footwear, but not everything has to be pink and light colors. I mean, not every woman likes pink, yellow, and light colors. Come on, throw some reds in there. Maybe I'll switch to wearing women's footwear. I highly doubt it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, as you can see in these photos, I took these photos. These are my boots and the photos, and those are my legs. So as you can see, I'm at a gym, and I actually typically work out in my regular footwear. So as soon as I got these uh, put pair of boots, I immediately went to the gym and started working out. I usually work out five days a, or five nights a week at my gym, uh, as I usually can't make it there on the weekends. But I put in a lot of heavy work. I do leg day three times a week. Uh, I'm doing it four times this week, but that doesn't matter. I'm just really breaking these boots in, and I really want to see what they're made of. Um, since the reviews were kind of mixed about things, uh, they are a lightweight boot. They are water resistant. If you ever see a boot that says they're waterproof, they're lying. Nothing's waterproof. Everything is just water resistant. Some's just a little bit better than others. Um, and these are actually quite comfortable to work out in. You wouldn't think that they are, but they're very supportive and they're very sturdy. And I stay planted pretty decently. And I, and I like to work out by doing deadlifts and squats and different variations of leg press, hex press, you know, inverted press, uh, uh, good mornings, pretty much everything a bodybuilder would do or someone, you know, world's, world's strongest man competition. I do a little bit of all that kind of stuff. So having really good footwear is important when I'm working out, do my leg day. I mean, I do have the toe shoes to work out in, but for the heavier stuff, I'm more comfortable with wearing a solid boot because if I ever drop a weight on my foot, I don't want it to break if I have my <laughs> very easy flexed toe boots on, I mean toe shoes on, so. Um, I have not had any problems with these. They're very easy to break in, and so far I'm really digging them. Now, I'm going to give an updated review on these in a few months to see how they're upholding and I'm really hoping that the reviews kind of just were on the people that made them. Uh, someone made a review on these saying when they went camping, it seemed like the sole of these fell apart immediately when they got to their campsite. But these are really supposed to be a lightweight hiking shoe. Um, it's not supposed to be for anything advanced or intermediate. I think they're just standard basic kind of hiking boots. And since I'm not a hiker, I really don't know what that means, so I feel like that statement was just a stupid and <laughs> to make me sound like I knew something about hiking. Uh, but honestly, um, I go out for a lot of walks that are long walks that can range from an hour to four hours on standard terrain or inclined hill terrain, usually on gravel and cement, wherever I can walk easily. So I use these for an everyday kind of activity um, just because I like to wear boots in general. And that's the kind of footwear that I like to have. So this is why I'm trying these out. Um, they're nice affordability range. They're very, very comfortable. And uh, they, they do have another color choice. I believe it was brown with an off brown color to it. But I got these from EMS, Eastern Mountain Sports. You can also order them on Amazon, and I'm sure if you searched around, other stores might have them as well. But if you have an Eastern Mountain Sports or an REM, I believe is the other store that I know that's a very big outdoorsy store for good gear, I believe they would probably have them as well. Uh, so go ahead and give them a, give them a check them out if you just want an everyday casual boot to wear. Um, 
something that's very that's lightweight and easy to walk in and that's not really going to make it very heavy on your feet so i'm going to recommend these so far as i haven't had any issues and if i do have problems that come up i will update my recommendation i'm going to do other review videos so if you have any questions on any of the products that i'm using please ask me in the comments and i'll definitely take a look at what your questions and concerns are and i will definitely get back to you in regards to it I know when I buy things, I like to thoroughly research everything so I can make a conclusive decision on something. And when you don't have a lot of reviews about something or they're kind of mixed, it's difficult to make that kind of decision. So this is why I kind of gandered on this um, for that reason. And I wanted to make a review because I want you to have an easier choice and other thought range process for when you're looking at boots to purchase. So these again, these are the Caramar boots uh, from the UK, but they are also available in the States as I did buy them in the States. I hope you liked this review. There will be more, so stay tuned. I'll have an update in a few months in regards to my conclusions of these boots. Thanks for watching.